Yes. We'll, we'll withstand the weather. Okay, let's get a good look. This is the uh, very first day of our Humber Valley School public school uh, mural and it will go on the exterior of the building. Uh, we're hoping to continue the project until June, the end of the school year. Um, and it's a, a floral theme to fit with the garden that's been planted outside the school. We have both grade 10 classes working on this project. Right now they're priming the board. As you can see, there are 22 uh, full sheets of exterior plywood that they're working on. And the next step will be to transfer the drawing to the boards and get started the painting. Painting in, well, everyone's pretty much doing the main 
colors right now. The yeah. base shades. Base shades, and then we're yeah. going to add details later. And we're hoping to finish it by the end of the year, so about a month longer. Yeah, and we're just working. Whatever. <laughs> shading with some flat stuff too and that that would look okay. The main important thing is to make sure that your edges are lined up and so that there's not a big jump on the edge where the boards meet in color or in technique.
finally finished our mural after eight weeks of work, and this is the uh, exciting day where it gets taken away from our school. Uh, the students have all said goodbye to it on their last day of school, and now it's going to make its uh, eventful journey to the Humber Valley Village School, where it will be installed.
gardening happened a long time ago. I can't remember the exact moment, but I know it was in January, and it was very snowy and cold, and a garden seemed like the last thing you would want to think about, but it seemed appropriate. And uh, Lily and I, Mrs. Tucker and I, took walks every morning, and we thought what a great idea it would be to have a garden at the school. It seemed to us that a, gar a school playground should be more than asphalt and bare grass. The parent at the school and myself um, hammered out a design, and we applied for funding. Many of you will remember our wheelbarrow party that we held in June of all, because you have dug the earth, and you have spread more wood chips, and more wood chips. And you know what, this fall you're going to spread more wood chips. Um, you've made up, also made other discoveries, like the thousands of ladybugs that were hiding in the leaves in that first spring. And when you were planting bulbs, you found toads hibernating in the soil. No other school can have a garden like this one, because no other school has students just like you with your ideas. into a real garden with that other green stuff, money. You've been told that money doesn't grow on trees. Well, we found out that if you plant trees, people will give you money to do it with. <laughs> we have been very fortunate to have had the support of two organizations that fund causes of the environment generously. We would like to ask Teresa Raponi, who represents Canada Trust's Friend of the Environment Foundation, to please come up to receive a token of our gratitude from the Friendship Garden. And Jessica Bell, one of our, our students from the Garden Club, is presenting that. And this particular design was chosen by popular vote. It was expanded to its tremendous scale. The whole school, the whole class spent weeks painting it and we result, see the result of the, their efforts today. We would like to recognize the effort and creativity that went into this mural by presenting certificates to those students today. And could a representative of the class please come forward to receive these certificates and would the rest of the class please stand so that we can give you a great big hand. and thanks today to our corporate sponsors and the ESA students and teachers. There are many others we need to recognize. Just as they have tended the garden with their digging and their weeding and their planting and their watering, so have they inspired and nurtured and worked with the children and the adults in this school community.
all seeing our mural for the first time, and it's big. big. It's, it's, it's huge. It's mammoth. We've, we've only seen it on the ground, and seeing it up on the wall, it's just, it's fantastic. We saw from the, the bus, and it. the flowers, the garden looks beautiful. Yeah, it's it is. great. It really, it accentuates the, the mural. Mm -hmm. 